Thank you very much. Thank you. Welcome. We're going to have some fun. Uh, you know, people always ask a magician, is the hand faster than the eye? In other words, can I move my hand faster than everyone here can see it? Well, let's try a bit of an experiment. Can you see my hand? Say yes. 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 With a bit of enthusiasm. Yeah. Okay. Can you see my hand? Yes. Very good class. <laughs> but can you see it now? Yeah, you can. Well, that's as fast as I can move my hand. So maybe it's not that my hand is faster than the eye. Maybe it's our imagination. And that's what we're going to do this evening, have a little bit of fun. Um, I have here a, a handkerchief. I'm going to show you what I think is probably the smallest magic illusion in the world. It uses a handkerchief and my hand. And if I take the handkerchief, I wave it up and down. It gets smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller until it gets so small that when I take and place it, I, I haven't done anything yet. We have skeptics over here. <laughs> This is a magic wand that comes in later. OK, we'll try it again. You take the handkerchief, you wave it up and down. It gets smaller and smaller, smaller and smaller, until it gets so small that when I do go into my pocket and pull out that little, little magician's magic wand or marker <laughs> and give it a little tap, not only does it get so small that you cannot see it, but it changes into something else, <sighs> an egg. <laughs> now, 2,000 years ago, this would have looked like a miracle. But I can tell by your thunderous applause <laughs> that it's fairly lame. Save it up, I have a weak finish. <laughs> but I'm actually going to teach you how to do this. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. I do a lot of corporate work throughout the world in casinos, and uh, I love having a little bit of fun, especially during doing a little icebreaker for friends or at a party. So I'm going to teach you how to do this. But you have to learn a few technical terms. In magic, we call this a fake egg. <laughs> That's because it's got a hole in it where the handkerchief goes. Oh, yeah, now it's not such a hot trick, right? But I digress. I will show you exactly what I did. So you take the fake egg, and you have to place it in the palm of your hand. Now, technically, all magicians call this placing the fake egg in the palm of your hand. <laughs> you will be tested. Then you take the handkerchief, and you start pushing it inside the fake egg. And technically, we call this stuffing the egg. <laughs> and a lot of people say, well, where do you get the fake eggs from? These are actually laid by decoys. <laughs> <laughs> now, the magic wand doesn't do anything, but it takes your mind off the handkerchief. So th they don't know about the fake eggs. They say it's about to change. This is the most important part of all. This is where you must take the fake egg, and you must turn it around so that the hole is facing you. Because if you do not do that, and they see the hole, the trick will look stupid. <laughs> so you say, and now, ladies and gentlemen, it's turned into an egg, and they cheer and scream. <laughs> they cheer and scream. <laughs> but there is a problem. because Every once in a while, you get some smart aleck who says, well, why don't you crack the egg? A and then you're in trouble. <laughs> and technically, magicians call this being in big doo-doo. But if you were a real magician, you could do this. Watch. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> oh, that's just too weird. Uh, hey, I need a victim, a uh, uh, volunteer. Can I get, oh, I can't, I can't see. No, oh, is someone over there? I, I, sure, come on up. I, I've got lights in here. I'm sorry, I, I really can't see too much. If someone else wanted to come, we'll get you next time. Hi. Hi. And your first name, sir? Corey. Corey, nice to meet you, Corey. Nice to meet you. <sighs> <laughs> Corey, nice to meet you. Um, uh, Corey, if you'd be uh, kind enough to stand right over here. Uh, just a little that way uh, and this way. Look at the audience a bit. Uh, just right on the trap door. Good. Now, Corey. <laughs> just kidding. Corey, hold on to the napkin. You and I are about to do a little bit of magic. Good. You've got to do everything I do. So, excellent. You look at the audience, you have to smile. Pretend you're having a good time. Make sure there's no trapdoors, mirrors, or bunnies. I'll do the jokes. You grab the center, and you rip it in half as hard as you can on the count of three. One, two, three. Okay, three. Okay, do it again. So you rip it up, and you rip it up, and you rip it up, and rip, and rip, and rip, and rip, until you have 64, 63 pieces of paper. 
And you take those pieces of paper and you squeeze them together. You squeeze them. Good enough, okay. And you reach into your pocket and you pull out what we call woofle dust. It's actually lint. We have all these technical terms in magic. Are you ready? Now, I'll do this first because I don't want you to get hurt. Okay. Now, I, I have no idea how this works, o honestly. Somehow, some way, if you feel the love, do you feel the love? Yeah. Do, 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 you feel, do you feel the love? Feel the he love. feels the love. Do you feel the love? Because all those little pieces of paper, they represent dispurgent peoples, uncles and aunts and mothers, brothers, sisters, cousins, little babies, all somehow together. And when you feel the love, somehow, some way, all those little single pieces of paper, if you do feel the love, seem somehow to join together in the most inopportune conditions and somehow, some way, join back together again. Thank you. Okay, this is your big chance in show business. Go for it. Feel the love. <laughs> okay. Now, did, did you squeeze it? Yeah. Okay. I now, it hard. And you blow on it. I work out. Don't worry. Cool. Yeah. I can see that. Excellent. Excellent. Good attitude. Now you take the pieces and you slowly just pull them apart. Pull them apart. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Pull. That's it. It's happening. It's happening. It's good. No, 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 it's not your fault, it's not your fault. You just got to get all the pieces. <laughs> all right. Okay, hold on to that. It's perfect. Reach into your pocket. <laughs> it's right. dust. Okay, you got it. You squeeze it. Now, do you believe? I, I believe. <laughs> Start to do it. You can do it. Well, I can do it. Just do it nice and carefully. Got to believe. Think of the love. Think of the love. You can do it. Just concentrate on Think of the love. Go for it. And I believe he's feeling the love, ladies and gentlemen. Give him a big hand. All right. Cool, man. Cool. Don't go away. Don't go away. I want you to do that again. What? <laughs> I'm just kidding. See, the problem is people always say, oh, those magicians, they do that sleight of hand stuff. It's not true. No, no, no. We, we do sleight of mouth. <laughs> See, see if you, no, you see if you watch us talk, you miss everything. <laughs> I'll show you. What? <laughs> Give him a big hand. Come on. You are cool, man. Thank you very much. Come on, give him a big hand. You can keep that as a souvenir. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> now, I'm going to do one last illusion. I need to borrow an object from the audience. I need to borrow a $1,000 bill. Anybody? <laughs> a hundred. Not a toonie. Okay, a five. The first person with a $5 bill in their hand can help me with this little miracle. A little bit. Someone's running down here. Perfect. Give him a big hand. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you very much. And your name is Grant. Grant. <laughs> it's a gift. Grant, if you'd be so kind, just uh, stand right, right over there. Grant, if you don't mind, you're going to help me with the first ever live streaming TED internet game show. All right. And you can get a chance to win prizes. Fabulous prizes. <laughs> now, you've got to be the game show audience. So when I go like this, you've got to yell and cheer and scream. <laughs> Come on. This is for Grant. <laughs> Much better. Grant, uh, I'm going to ask you to stand just a little bit in front of the table. I have here a pad of paper. I want you to hold on to the pad. I've got the official You Bet Your Bucks envelope. That's the name of our little game show. And uh, I've got uh, a magic marker, and it's worth five bucks. Right. That's how I got it. <laughs> now, Grant, on every bill, that was a good yeah, there's a serial number. The H-A-B, I'll, I'll read it out so everyone knows what it is, and I want you to write it out in large letters, so if you ever see, I mean, when you see it again, you'll know that it's your $5 bill. So H-A-B, HAB, 347, big letters though, 9962, H-A-B, 347, 9962. You get to keep your bill, I'm not going to do anything fancy or funny, I am, however, going to 
put it into a small packet. And that's important because I'm going to put it into the envelope. And you have to keep that. It used to taste like mint. Okay, uh, I need the pen. That's how I got it. It's H A B. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's okay. There you go. Okay. And uh, keep your money. Squeeze it tight, though. I get the pen. Um, okay, you know, I, I, wanna, I don't want anyone to think that we're cheating. So I'm put this here. Good. Now, there's no way that anyone can do any funny stuff. Now, if you, you have to understand with a game show, if, if you answer three skill testing questions, you win prizes. It, it, in this case, it could be a trip anywhere Air Canada flies in North America. It could be money. It could be a 33-inch color stereo TV. I'm not kidding. <laughs> Grant, this is a, your chance. Now, I, I don't have a clock or anything, but if you've got a good sense of humor, you're going to love this. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> hey, I got to tell you, if this had been a $1,000 bill, this would be like 200 times funnier. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Now, Grant, you have to answer the skill testing questions. Remember, I folded it up, put it in a corner. That's for a reason. That's so you have a, a chance. Okay, so you got to answer really quickly. First of all, what is the most famous, fabulous conference in the entire planet? TED. TED, yes! <laughs> TEDx is correct. Second question is, who is your favorite magician on the entire planet? <laughs> Brian Glow, yes, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. This is it. This could be the trip. This could be the money, this could be the stereo TV. I'm not kidding. Are you ready? I'm ready? How many people went down on the Titanic, this ship that hit the iceberg and sank to its depths? More than one. A lot more than should have. 1,200. 1,500 right, ladies and gentlemen. Another five? No. I got the money, though. That wasn't supposed to happen. Ah. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> cool, Grant, uh, have you ever been on TV before? Uh, cool, cool, cool. No, no unions. Okay, hey, here, hold on to this. We got this is a quick. Here, look at the audience. Do a Vanna White. Do a Vanna White. Like this. Good. Five, four, three, two. Hi. As you know, our products are not advertised on television, radio, signs of any kind or description. But today, just to introduce our product to your fair city, we're going to give away a $5 bill to each and every one of you. I see by your faces, you don't think I've got enough $5 bills. Tell you what I'll do. I'll keep them in my pocket. I'm not here to sell you anything. I'm here purely as an advertising representative. If you suffer from the well-known aches, pains, or illnesses, rheumatism, arthritis, high or low blood pressure, fall on your treasure, housemates, you stay in this and what I got to tell you. Because when you hear it, a steady application of Dr. Glow's magical medicine for mysterious maladies can accomplish for you. You'll say it sounds like magic. Now, I see by your faces, you don't think that that's what we're here to advertise. Your folks, you're right. We're here to show you the KitchenAid of the 21st century. We call it chop a chop slices, dices, julienne fries. And my friend Grant is going to help me by demonstrating, put the carrot through the larger. Watch your fingers, please. It is a surgically sealed stainless blade. Through the smaller hole, watch your fingers. Very good. Now, you can actually feed a family of seven for seven days with only one carrot. <laughs> I'm going to handy down and show you the safety device and bed each other. I will put my hand in there, shake my hand. That is my hand. Good. Now you can imagine. He's slicing and dicing. He's doing it. He's about to slap. I'm not going to do that. It, ah! We'll clean the wet spot up later. But 9.95 as I run out of the theater. Thank you. But Grant, 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 Grant. Before we started this nonsense, I said if you answered the questions, you would win a prize. Didn't he win a prize? Yeah. Didn't he end win a prize? He did, in fact, and I do have them here, hermetically sealed in this old 1970s giveaway Esso bag. <laughs> Just a second. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's my lunch. <laughs> I can juggle. <laughs> Grant, grab one! Decisive man. I have the handy-dandy opening device. Now, what you did not know is secretly in each of these lemons is a message grown from little seedlings. You had a free choice of picking any lemon you wanted. You picked this particular lemon. This could be the trip. This could be the money. This could be the stereo TV. These are these new screw top kind. 
There is a message inside. Grant, grab the message. Please tell me what you won. Is it the trip? Is it the money? Is it the TV? But it's a, he's got money, ladies and gentlemen, money, money, money. But wait a second, wait a second. Grant, before this nonsense, you won a $5 bill. But before this nonsense, you wrote down and verified a serial number. You wrote down HAB 347 9962. Is that the same one? It's the same $5 bill, ladies and gentlemen. He will take this as a souvenir. Grant, thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Brian Glow. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a great time.